the Secret Service, which, as you know, heralded the end of the Super Mario Nation era. Yeah, it did. Which is rather sad. Yeah. Now, a lot of that team had been working on the puppet shows since Twizzle oh, yeah. in 1957. Mm-hmm. So many of them have been there for 12 years, kind of perfecting the art of Super Mario Nation and doing their absolute finest work. But by the time the Secret Service was over, it was time for Century 21 to move on to UFO. But the puppet team were really hopeful that there was some way that they could keep going. Yeah, I should imagine so. <laughs> Obviously, because yeah. they, they love what they were doing. Yeah. So Des Saunders, uh, director and uh, I think he was production supervisor on various things. He did all sorts of stuff. Lovely mm-hmm. chap. Sadly, lost him a couple of years ago. Des put forward a proposal for a new puppet series that would have come after the Secret Service called Atlantis. Oh, right. Mm. Yes. So it would have been something like a mix of Thunderbirds and Stingray. Stingray, of course, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, with a family, with a father, two sons and a daughter, living in the remains of the lost city of Atlantis. Oh. They were supposed to have some special powers, like telepathy and teleportation, and the power to control the sea. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they would have they would have saved people in distress, which is the Thunderbirds thing. Yeah. Stop bad guys, obviously a bit Thunderbirds and a bit Stingray. Yeah. From various naughty bits and pieces they were up to. Yeah. And Des even commissioned Terry Curtis, who was one of the sculptors. Yes. To make one of the characters. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So I don't think there was a... No, that character wasn't named as far as I know, but he looked a bit like Captain Blue. Like an aquatic Captain Blue. <laughs> right. Yeah. Nice. And they were going to be in the Captain Scarlet proportions, so they were keeping that human set proportions. But unfortunately, Dad and Sylvia had kind of moved on by that point. They were like, no, it's, right. you know, it's live action time. Yes. So, sorry. Never nice seen. Nice idea. So Jerry Anderson's Atlantis oh. never made it past that early concept stage. Although that puppet yeah. does still exist and occasionally appears at uh, conventions. 